I remember the first day I met Carolyn, I saw a lady that hasn't had a lot of opportunities. By including technology in her life, we gave her the freedom to learn to live as independent as possible. That change is priceless. I have the coolest job ever. I help people live their best life. My name is Precious Myers Brown. I'm the Chief Innovation Officer, also known as CINO. St. John's Community Services mission is advancing inclusive opportunities in the community, regardless of circumstances. When someone individually feels empowered, independent, and has hope, we as a community are better because of that. And with Carolyn, oh my God, we went through the entire process of I can't do till finally I got this. You step back, Precious. I can handle this all on my own. That's what I'm striving for. That's what I want to hear. And then we just continue beyond that relationship as friends, which is what we are now. Before my own husband, she's the first one that texts me in the morning and asks me how I'm doing. That's our relationship. I hit you. Mm -hmm. Is it good? Uh -huh. Carolyn's everyday barriers that she needs to overcome include remembering scheduling, medication management, and just being a mom in today's world. Our enabling technology team is super important to her. It allows you to talk to your doctors when you have to do in-person visits. My job is to get everyone in the agency, including the people we support, involved using technology and teach them how the technology works. We train her on the new stuff and modify equipment to suit her needs so she can be as independent as possible and live her best life with her and her son. Echo, lights are on. Okay. My name is Curtin Jones and I'm 36. At first I had staff, now I don't have staff. I called St. Charles if I need their help. Carl helped me with all this technology that he put in my house, and I love it. Last time we had a game, they had a lot of people in the game. She's able to call upon us for whatever her needs are that keeps her living independently. This is called Alexander. It is impossible to get a quality night's sleep when every two hours somebody is open a door and trying to stand over you to visually see if you're breathing. The XK300 by Xander Cardian is a contactless radar sensing device that provides vital sign monitoring of heart rate and breathing respirations. Every second is pulling data from this person. We're receiving that data. We utilize the XK300 to provide responsive support during sleeping hours. When we first installed the XK300 in Carolyn's apartment, we all were watching the screen because we were all geeked out and happy. You know, we got this cool new device. And all of a sudden, we're seeing the lines go from boop, 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 the up and down to nothing. Up and down, nothing. When we looked at the waveforms and I saw a dip and I saw a pause, I kind of pulled back. Yeah, I'm asking the nurses, what's going on? What's going on? What does this mean? You see those long pauses? Mm -hmm. And it's happened oh, wow. a couple of times. The nurses all gathered around and we found out she has patterns of not breathing. We got our team, Steve, Carl, myself, a few other nurses, and got on a call with the Xander Cardian team and confirmed, yes, I see the same thing you see. That's the moment where we realized the powerful technology of radar has changed the game for us. I think Carolyn's life has been improved dramatically from where she was to where she is now, and she tells me every day that she's so happy to be a part of this program, and her smile is just infectious when I see it. The XK300 gave us the data we needed so that she could get the proper treatment. And now we're seeing a whole different Carolyn. We're actually seeing the real Carolyn. It made a big difference. A big difference is that I'm free. We have to continue to evolve, to innovate, to continuously improve 
where we are. We have not landed. What Xander has been doing is continuously improving this product. That level of precision helped us to identify things that we would never have known about. And we're able to take that data and communicate with their doctor and help somebody articulate and advocate for themselves. Actually, I'm saying that the technology is helping someone advocate for themselves. Everybody is helping everybody. The person is living their best life. They could contribute better to their families. They could be better moms. When I have that person, my neighbor, my friend, Carolyn, with me and my community, the whole community is better.